Hey guys, remember me? Sean and I was out here for JM Sports, 100JMSports.org. How's that going? Uh, I'm back. Kinda. As you, as some of you know, I took a couple weeks off, a couple weeks after I posted a video. So I was done. Didn't know I'd be back. Didn't quite expect to be back so soon. Um, but things are slowly starting to, uh, straighten out. Uh, and so I'm not going to get into detail as to what they are, or, um, but I do want to say that the person that I was having issue with is trying to figure it out, uh, that person is actually the one who got me back into this, and they're like, you know, yes, we're having problems, but you need to still do what you love to do, and maybe that will help you cope with the issue. Now, granted, the issue is pretty much solving itself. Uh, I, I don't, I still don't know if I'm going to be, I'm going to be back full time. I don't think I'm going to return baseball picks this year. I'm not sure yet. Maybe I'll get the bug to do it. I don't know. Right now, I just don't have it. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to do. And like I said, I don't even know right now how often I'm going to be here. It's basically a, it's just going to be a how I feel type thing as far as how often I post for a while uh, until I figure out exactly where things are going. But right now I feel pretty good. One thing I do want to talk about, uh, actually before I talk about what I want to talk about, uh, I do want to give a shout out to two people. Um, and I don't have their usernames like right in front of my face. So I'm just going to give you the actual, the actual names and then I'll put the links to their channel in uh, the description. Uh, Jonathan Young and Andrew Young. Um, those two have been huge, I've talked about them before, they've been huge supporters of mine for ever, um, as far as me doing this, uh, and, you know, I got support, um, with that, uh, with this, with, with taking the break, and I've got, I got support on that video, and then I messaged on Facebook, too, asking me, um, if I was alright, and how it was going, and I'm sorry I didn't reply to that, I really... I've kind of been in my own secluded little world, uh, trying to get through this mess. I kind of shut myself down, but, uh, like I said, things are starting to look up, and, uh, hopefully it stays that way, and hopefully I get back to where I want to be, hopefully, um, things get back to where I wish they were, hope they were, and, and, uh, do think that eventually they will be, um, but, um, just gotta get to that point first. Uh, the one thing I did want to talk about was the NBA uh, Eastern and Western Finals. Uh, you know, Celtics Heat, Spurs Thunder. Um, of course, tonight is June 3rd, 2012, and 27 days, or 26 days before my birthday, but who's coming? Um... 26 days before my 21st birthday, but who's Uh, of course, Game 4 takes place in just a little bit between the Heat and the Celtics. Uh, Heat made the series 2-1. Is anybody surprised? I mean, I knew that the Celtics were probably going to get a game out of this series. I think that'll be about all they get. Uh, you know, they might be able to squeeze out a second win. They're too old to compete with the Heat. And... All season, they really had a lot of problems putting up points. Um, and there's just, uh, it, it doesn't even match up right on paper. Uh, you know, the Heat are just a better team. Uh, I'm not surprised that the Celtics did get a win out of the series. I, I did say they would. Um, but the Heat are just a better team. Celtics are too old. And I really believe that, that, uh, the window is closed to the Celtics. Ray Allen doesn't look good. Okay. Uh, John Rondo still looks good for the most part, but he's John Rondo. He's young, and he will continue to look good. But this is a, an extremely crucial game for the Celtics. I do think that if they do want a shot to win this series, I do think they have to to win this game. If if they go down, I don't think they're gonna win anyway. 
like I said, but if, if they do uh, want we'll at least a shot, and if they do have to win this game, I think the, if the Heat go up 3-1 uh, tonight, it's it's over. Um, I, I really, I, this game is not going to a Game 7. I can, I can almost guarantee that. Meanwhile, on the other side of the Spectrum, um, Thunder and Spurs. That series is tied at 2. Uh, and game uh, 5 takes place on uh, tomorrow on TNT at 9 o'clock Eastern Time. I'll be the first to admit I have underestimated the Spurs through most of the playoffs and I have really underestimated them in this series against the Thunder. I didn't quite think that the Spurs were going to play the Thunder quite as hard as I have. I don't know why I underestimated the Spurs, but I did. I ultimately had the Thunder and the Heat in the finals. Well, I don't know. The Heat, I'm, I'm, I can almost put a guarantee on the Heat being in the finals. Uh, but with the Spurs Thunder series, it's been a good one so far. And I, I obviously think it's going to continue. Um, Obviously, both of, you know, San Antonio have, have won both their games in San Antonio. Uh, Thunder um, have won both their games in Oklahoma City. Tomorrow is, of course, in San Antonio. Uh, game 6 will be in Oklahoma City, uh, if needed. And then Game 7, if needed, will be in San Antonio. Uh, well, Game 6 will be needed, so never mind. Um, but Game 7 will be in San Antonio. So if the pattern keeps up, then the Spurs will win the series. So the Thunder are going to have to get a road win and that's just it's gotta happen obviously but obviously I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make an obvious statement here whoever wants to win this series is going to have to to win a game on their own uh, well I guess I shouldn't say that the Spurs, if the Thunder wants to win the series they're gonna have to win the game on their, on their own San Antonio can win the series don't win the game on their own uh, they can just go back and win at home in Game 7. They keep winning their home games, but Thunder ever got to win a, a, a game on the road, and I don't know if they can do that. The way they've played in San Antonio, I, I, don't, I don't know if they can do that, but we'll see. Uh, I do... I am still going to go um, actually... I'm going to change what I said. Here's what I've got. I've got the Heat going up 3-1 on Thursday, taking the series. Let me, let me do that again. Well, I went too far on the week. I've got the Heat going up 3-1 tonight. I've got the Heat taking the series on Tuesday. Four games to one. I think Oklahoma City and San Antonio, I do think that will go to a game seven and I've got the Spurs in seven so I changed I did think Thunder and then after watching how the Spurs have played in the playoffs I'm like man I don't know it's still I'm still a little iffy about it that series is going to be really good and I think either way I think we're setting up um, as long as Boston doesn't make it to the you know doesn't make it to the NBA finals I think we're setting up for a good finals um, but Boston is just they're too old I've, I know I've ragged on them all year uh, this tool. That's just that's how it is. Sorry, Boston fans, and uh, I know one of Max is, is a Boston fan, and I don't think she'll see this, but if she does, sorry, and I'm sure I'll get a phone call, and I'm sure I'll uh, hear about it. But, anyway, guys, uh, there you go. Uh, links to Jonathan and Andrew's channels will be in the uh, description, and I'm back. How often? Like I said, no clue. I'll do a lot of NFL stuff, so uh, that'll probably be coming up. Uh, JMSports.org was probably uh, very close to uh, dying. Um, I the domain name is up, and I can't afford to. I don't know if I can afford to to keep it up, so I may just uh, kill JMSports.org. Sorry guys, and just stick to here on YouTube. Uh, like I said, I don't know why I'm back because I don't know what's going on, but. Um, 
I'll try to be back more often, and I've missed this totally, and I'm glad to be back now. I am John Zuck, JM420, and JM Sports.org. I'm out.